the history of Jesus. Urban exploration is the uh, exploration of derelict and abandoned buildings. When I'm in the site, I'll first off check for security. I'll check for alarm systems, which are anything which could alert the security to my presence. If anything, we are trespassers, and trespassing in the eyes of the law is not a crime. It's a civil law, so. It's a dispute between the landowner and ourselves. When asked to leave, I do leave. I do not, when I enter a site, break anything to enter. If we started to vandalise anything or cause our growth for anyone, then the police could be called and we could be charged. <laughs> Buildings are in a very dangerous condition, some of them. Uh, others you can go and it's like a perfect building, just like your house that you live in, safe as anything. Others can be roofs falling in, burnt out floors, falls which fall through on you. Hazards such as fungus, uh, which can get up into your lungs and also asbestos. I take these risks mainly because it's such exciting and exhilarating. The adrenaline rush you can get when things get a bit weird is Amazing. These places haven't been explored much, they, they aren't known. The history of the places is steeped in myth of padded rooms and lobotomy and all that stuff. And we go in there with the deepest respect for these buildings and the history of them to gain a knowledge of how things were in these sites. Many people can't understand why we do this, to be honest. Many people I've spoken to just don't understand or aren't interested. Those who are interested though, after seeing pictures and listening to the stories, they want to go themselves. Someone 